Good morning, St. John's. It is Monday, the 5th of July, the last month of our school year. I am Mr. Bohr, and that must mean it's time for our collective worship. Today, we're going to be thinking about journeys. 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 A journey is when you are going from one place to another. Now, in your classes, straight away, I would like you to do some thinking. Firstly, I'd like you to think about some of the journeys that you have been on in your life so far. And the second question I'd like you to think about is this. How did you prepare for those journeys? Take a few minutes to discuss that in your class and then come back to me. Teachers, if you're ready, can you please press pause now? And hopefully you are all able to press pause. You had a wonderful discussion and you are back with me now for the rest of our collective worship. Now, there are lots of different journeys that we can go on and lots of ways that we prepare for them. And that reminded me of a story in the Bible right near the start about a man called Noah. Now, God had decided at this part of the Bible that the world had made so many wrong choices that he wanted to start again. But Noah was very special to God. The Bible says he was a righteous man, righteous, that he was blameless, blameless. Both of those words mean that no one could say anything wrong about him. He was someone who followed Mr. Parkin's advice from a couple of weeks ago that we try our best and don't worry about the rest. And so God said, excuse me, so God said to Noah that he was going to send him on a journey, a journey on a boat called the Ark, a journey that would change everything. Now, that must have been very confusing for Noah to be told by God that he had to go on a journey by boat. But what was even more confusing was that Noah did not live by the sea. In fact, he didn't even live near a big river. In fact, we would describe where Noah lived as more of a desert than anywhere by the coast. And yet God gave him lots of instructions. If I read through uh, part of the instructions that God gave him in the book of Genesis at the start. God told him to make an ark out of cypress wood. He told him how many rooms to put in it. He told him how high and wide the ark needed to be. He even told him where to put the doors. He said, I am going to bring floodwaters over the whole earth. Everything on earth will change, but I will be with you. So Noah set about gathering all the wood in the middle of the desert to build a big boat. I wonder if anyone thought he was maybe making a foolish decision, taking all that time spending all that money, putting up with people, making fun of him because he was preparing for his journey. But God made him two promises. One, he said, I will keep my promise with you to be with you and protect you even when things seem really tough. But second, Noah did not have to make the journey alone. Going with him was his wife and his three sons and their families, all of whom would make sure that Noah would not be alone. Now, why am I telling you this story about a big boat in the desert and about a man who spent lots of time and money preparing for a journey? Well, it's because St John's, every one of us is preparing for a journey this week. 
on Thursday, you'll be spending time with your new teachers. Year six, you will be spending some time with some other teachers in the school, but we know that you are making a big journey as well this year. A journey from St John's into one of the secondary schools in Canterbury, or maybe even beyond. So I wonder, we've got two weeks left and a few days. What preparations can you make for your journey? For year six going into your secondary school? For the rest of us going into our new year groups and preparing for whatever learning is coming up? How can we prepare? Can we work on things in our lessons? Can we think about our friendships? Can we try to make changes this year so we're ready for next year? Maybe those changes will be challenging. But we've got some promises for you. If you believe what the Bible says and you would say that you are Christian, then you can say that God will be with you. But even if not, we have got the same promise that God gave to Noah. Just as Noah got to take his family with him, we are not alone in the journeys that we're going to take. If you're in reception all the way up to year five, then look around the room. Lots of these people are going to be making the journey with you onto the next stage. Some of these people are your best friends and some of them might become your best friends. You never know. And year six, even if you feel like there aren't many people going to the same school as you are or not taking the same journey, I promise you, you will not be alone. So I'm going to say a prayer for us now to finish our collective worship. And then we will look forward with excitement to the start of our new journey on Thursday and to the promises of our journeys to come. Hands together and eyes closed. Dear God, thank you that all through the Bible, you send people on challenging but exciting journeys. But I thank you even more that you never sent them alone. As we prepare for our journeys this week and beyond, thank you that we are not alone. Thank you for our St John's family, who we know through thick and thin, through falling outs and making ups, will be our family to the end of our time at St John's. I pray that you will help us to support each other and look forward with excitement to whatever challenges are ahead. Amen. Have a wonderful week, St John's. See you later. Bye. Jesus' face